manual, standard, or stick shift. These are all terms that refer to the exact same thing, a type of transmission that requires the driver to select and change the gears. Even though there are few new cars made with them today, they are preferred by many and there are still a lot of them on the road. What do they all have in common? The clutch system. Basic operation is the same with all clutches, but there are variations in how they're controlled. Let's take a look at how they work. There are three main components involved. The flywheel, friction disc, and pressure plate. The flywheel is bolted to the crankshaft and has a machined surface for contact with the friction disc. The pressure plate, which is an assembly made up of the clutch cover, pressure plate, and diaphragm spring, bolts to the flywheel, so the flywheel and pressure plate are always moving at engine speed. The friction disc is sandwiched in between the two, and it's the friction disc that is splined to the input shaft of the transmission. When the clutch is engaged, the diaphragm spring applies force to the pressure plate to tightly grip the friction disc between it and the flywheel, so the power of the engine flows into the transmission. When the clutch is disengaged, a throwout bearing pushes on the center of the diaphragm spring, causing it to pull the pressure plate away from the friction disc, letting it slip freely so no power flows into the transmission. The throwout bearing is located on the end of the clutch fork, a lever that transfers the motion from the control side of the clutch system, which can be linkage, cable, or hydraulically operated. Due to the advantage of smooth operation and low maintenance, Hydraulic clutch control systems are the most popular today, utilizing a master cylinder at the clutch pedal and slave cylinder at the clutch fork. Some systems eliminate the clutch fork, integrating the throwout bearing onto the end of the slave cylinder. The latest technology in clutch systems is with the dual clutch transmission, or DCT. A DCT is basically an automated manual transmission. There are two clutches and two input shafts. One clutch is for odd-numbered gears, one for even-numbered gears. It's all computer-controlled and they shift very quickly. When in one gear, the next is already selected, so when it's time to shift, one clutch is disengaged as the other is engaged. There are manual transmission, you can drive like an automatic. Thanks for watching.